Chess friends, Queen Sacrifice is the greatest feeling in chess, everyone loves to see Queen Sacrifice by greatest players like Magnus Hikari you and me, in this game I sacrificed my queen after completing my development, so let's go, I started with d4 we have knight f6, c4 and we have e6, he wants to play d5 or c5 on his next turn, knight f3, d5 by Magnus to target this pawn, here you can play g3 to get bishop funetto which Fischer always loved to play, let me show you the variation. Ignoring the c4 pawn completely, so after takes bishop g2, if you try to save the pawn by playing b5 then white will play knight e5, this diagonal gets open so c6, now play devastating move a4 to break the queenside structure, black will face problems with his stupid structure, I covered all the variations of this position in my another video, you can check out my channel or go to the video description to get diamond chess courses, so, in this position. Magnus know it behind d takes c4 because he is a stockfish subscriber, so after e3 a6 we have a3 to protect that square, d takes c4 bishop takes c4, the light square and the diagonal gets very flexible to attack kingside in long run with queen bishop battery, ok we have b5, bishop back to e2 bishop b7, I played before with the idea of bishop b2 to get active on this diagonal, bishop d6 knight d2, this blocks the bishop line but it's totally ok because bishop will go there. Knight here queen c2 threatening to play e4 with the supporting of the queen, Magnus played castle, castle, a5 by him, bishop takes pawn isn't good because after pawn takes takes, white may lose his rook, so I played b takes a5 rook takes a5, Magnus gets the half open file but, it's totally fine for me, you know what, what is the best move here. Here best move is to play queen a8 to make a queen bishop battery to focusing on there and it will make rook queen battery to target the a3 pawn with 1 2 3 pieces at the same time, and the painful thing is that you can't save the pawn with any queen move because there is the light bishop, and there is the knight gang to disturb you, but in our actual game, Magnus played c5, he focused on to open the position, knight b3 bishop e4 to target the queen. The bishop comes to the point because the knight left that square, so queen c3 to target the rook with 1-2 pieces, d takes c5, the pawn is protected by the 2 pieces, so you need a extra attacker to the pawn, rook c7 by Magnus to pin the pawn, rook joins on d1 to x rain the pieces, so we have knight takes c5 knight takes c5, if you take it with your rook then after queen takes, takes takes bishop takes b5, I will get a passed pawn and the position will be in my control. But here best move is to play bishop to e5, to cover the file form commissioner rook attack, now you can go for the knight with rook, then I will play queen a5 rook takes c5 queen takes queen rook takes queen and the game could continue like this, but in this position Magnus missed best move and. He played bishop takes f3, if you take it with the bishop then black will play rook takes knight and the position will be equal so I played g takes bishop, I have a great position with the bishop attack, open rook file, the rook can also go to the g file to use the file, I have a nice tactical idea to attack to the weakest point of Magnus Carlsen, but he played knight h5, which is a big, big, big blunder, best was to take the knight, then after queen takes rook, takes takes rook takes rook. Position would be in my control but less advantages like 3 or 4, his idea is to play queen g5 check let me show you the variation, after playing a human looking move like bishop takes b5 black will play queen g5 check king h1 rook takes c5 with the queen, queen here and white may lose the game completely, white have a breakable structure and your heart may break so back to the position, I played f4, to wake up Magnus Carlsen from his dream to defeat Stockfish. If you play rook takes knight then I will play queen takes rook, bishop takes queen rook takes queen takes and takes you will lose your material, so back to the position we have knight back to f6, here I sacrificed my queen, queen takes f6, chess dot says it's a blunder move but I don't think it's a blunder move, actually it's a super brilliant move that even chess.com can't see, after takes the file gets open so knight e4 to target to the bishop with two pieces. If you try to save the bishop with rook move then I will play knight takes f6 check king h8, the diagonal and knight squares are totally seized by me, bishop f3 to target the rook, so rook escapes on a6 rook goes to c1 h6 king h1, 
and Black is completely paralyzed, he can't do anything to save the king, Bishop have a nice diagonal, Rooks are covering these files, that would be completely devastating for Black, so back to the position we have Rook c2 by Magnus. He thought he is threatening to my pieces but after Bishop takes f6 Queen runs to b8 King h1, if you try to save the bishop with these attackers by playing bishop c7 then rook g1 check will be mate, so chess friends, if you want to become like stockfish and defeat Magnus Carlsen then subscribe to my YouTube channel where you will get educational videos by one and only stockfish chess god, so, in this position we have rook e8, rook takes d6, rook g1 check is coming so king to f8, rook g1 by me and I am threatening to checkmate in 2 with the knight move, it will be a very bad checkmate so Magnus played queen b7 to pin the knight, bishop f3 and look at this position, I sacrificed my queen long time ago and I am completely winning the game, rook takes f2 knight goes to g5 to give a taste of checkmate to the king, so you have to play queen takes bishop check, knight takes rook takes rook up to d7, now bishop check is coming to checkmate you in 3-4 moves with king f8 then bishop b4 check, so after rook c8 we have rook b7, this is coming to checkmate you with the rook g8. Magnus resigned the game now let me show you the checkmate sequences, it will be made in few moves. So wish you all the best, thanks for watching subscribe for more bye bye take care see you soon.